If that makes it great, we're making an insert plate for this table saw. Hey guys, I'm Corey, this is Makeshift Crate, and as you saw last week, we uh, cleaned up and got this vintage Craftsman table saw running. So, as you saw briefly in that video, we had to make an insert plate for it. Well, this week we're going to show you how we did it. So, we can jump right into it. Okay, so one of the only things about this table saw is there's no insert. I'm sure you can find an insert. I've seen them on, for sale online, but... That's kind of not what we do here. That, no, that is what we do here. I buy stuff online all the time. But we can make it just as easily. So to do so, we're going to take a piece of paper, align it. I'm just going to use my one, two, three blocks to hold said piece down. Take a regular pencil. We're just going to find the edge. And as you do this, it will make the edge apparent which will allow us to trace it to find out exactly the size we need. I've already taken measurements, already know exactly how big it needs to be. So now that we got that, we can trace it out a little better, cut it out, transfer it to some plywood, acrylic. Not sure what material we're going to use yet. Hmm. But we can get that done now. The dip here is three millimeters. This piece of blue acrylic, three millimeters. That's what we're gonna do. I think it'll be a nice pop of color for this thing. We're gonna lay this where we want it on this piece of acrylic, get it traced out, go from there. Bandsaw, meet acrylic. Acrylic, meet bandsaw. Now let's test this out. I think we should, oh, it's like almost perfect. I mean, it's a little, it's not perfect, but like, it's a great fit. I'm seeing it sing in a couple places, or actually I might be able to knock it down the dance Um, Yeah, I'm gonna draw a hole for, you know, pull it out. Let the blade go through it. That's gonna be about it. Okay, so this is good, fits correctly. The only other thing we need to do, drill a hole for the finger. Well, blade too, but we'll get to that. The only negative thing is that I should have probably waited to drill the hole, but regardless, it fits. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Might need to sand this down a little bit just because it is just a freaking hair proud. Oh. Drops right in. Still a little proud. I'll try sanding the back of this. Maybe I can just sand the back and just take it down just enough so I don't screw up this beautiful face. Oh. 
the insides, it's fine. It's just the ends. I don't know. And they'll be fine. I'm good with it. It's close enough. Anyway, that's how you make one of these. So now the only other thing we gotta do, which we can't do quite yet, we'll do here in a few, is raise the blade through this so that it's made just for this. So, continue on with the saw. All right, so that's, they're both in there. They're both good. Let's see if this raises and lowers the way it's supposed to. Ooh, don't mind me kicking it. Hopefully, final time. Oh, oh, oh. And that's how we did it, guys. Super happy with how this turned out. It could be a little more precise. It could be a little more flush, but I think this is going to work for what we need to do just fine. So, if you guys have any suggestions of things we could have done better or differently, Please leave them down in the comments below. Look forward to reading them. We'll have a playlist of other stuff up here for you. YouTube's going to suggest something for you there. You can subscribe here. We'll see you next week.